Okay, Microsoft Teams phone system in three to four minutes. What can I tell you? Um, it's innovation at its best, and it's built on three key elements. Obviously, it's cloud-born, purpose-built. Um, all the AV performance and resiliency is there. It's built on the global media uh, delivery network of Microsoft's. Basically, all you need to know is that there's three million kilometers of fiber, hundreds of ISP relationships and interconnections in, in, in play. Um, and lastly, cognitive services and machine learning um, deliver insights and actions into calling and meeting experiences, which enable Microsoft to improve that media quality and overall user uh, experience. It's highly scalable. And obviously, it fits. It's it's part of the Office 365 suite, really. Um, so, how do we make it work? Well, we've got session border controllers in Microsoft Azure, which appeared with our session border controllers, making sure that you get the best quality voice. We can provide you with individual telephone numbers or port your existing telephone numbers in, and you've got all those advanced features that you would expect of a phone system, apart from contact center, which would hopefully be coming soon. So I think that picture there pretty much um, sums it up. All right, the features that count, I mean, I won't read them all, but you know, dial one, dial two for sales, widgets, call queues, call pickup, transferring, it's all there, click to dial from web pages, and it is extremely easy to configure. Teams only has one client, and it's exactly the same footprint across mobiles, PC, and Mac. And you've got a choice of whether you want to use a headset or a handset. There's some great conference phones, and the UI in there means that when you walk into that conference room, if you've invited the room into the meeting, it's one click uh, in order to join. And then you've got uh, room systems. So, you know, top of the range video conferencing uh, available back into Teams. This pretty much talks the same messaging. Um, so the screen that you're seeing there is the Microsoft Teams interface. OK, this is a quick look at Microsoft Teams and what's taking the market by, by storm. All right, so we can see here that calls lives between meetings uh, and files, speed dials, just like any telephone phone system is a speed dial, except the difference with Microsoft Teams that's, is that you can either have a telephone number or an email address in that team. So the advantage of an email address, obviously, if you have external and internal participants in there, is that you can see their presence. Right? Obviously, one click to call. It's going to call either their telephone number or their uh, email address, so i.e. Teams uh, or Skype for Business, etc. All right, uh, these are the delegates at the top, and delegates can make calls on your behalf, etc. Get a whole bunch of features. Contacts, if you're looking for more telephone numbers uh, for somebody, um, we, let's have a look for somebody that might have some more. There we go. We can see a whole bunch of telephone numbers for that user uh, under there, and we can go and click to call. Easy. History, no need to spend any time on explaining that, apart from the fact that uh, if you have missed a call, etc., you can go back, call that person back easily, add them to speed dial or into uh, contacts. Um, and obviously, the name is displayed where it's found in the contacts or they part of the uh, Active Directory Teams deployment. Lastly, we have voicemail, and a voicemail also has a transcription services. Um, so it's not always accurate, but I find that. In 95% of the cases, it is, which saves you having to check that voicemail greeting. Pretty cool. You can go back and speed up really slow speakers, although for most people, it's actually slowing down the message. And again, quick call to call the person back, and away you go. So um, hey, Maya, uh, sorry. Sorry. there it is. Nice and easy to play. All right, looking at user settings, this is an important part. We go to settings, and let's just hone in on calls. At the moment, I can see calls are ringing me at my extension. I could also get them to ring at my mobile phone if I wanted to. 
um, forward calls through to my voicemail or delegates or a call group. So very flexible uh, from that perspective. And obviously, at the end of the day, if you if you un if you don't answer the call, you want to send it to voicemail after how many seconds? Again, easy, configurable. Um, change the voicemail greeting. Change the ringtones for incoming calls. Nice and easy. Um, permissions, look at devices, automatically picks up your headset, etc. Notifications, privacy, your general settings. Again, you know, managing the delegates there that we had before, people you support, none, hey, I'm ahead. Um, so there it is. I mean, that's really Microsoft Teams in a nutshell. What I might go and do is um, let's let's put an outbound no, let's put an inbound call in. That's that's always far more exciting to get a call rather like getting a present, isn't it? Uh, it just means more work. So I'll just show you quickly some uh, call control features. So you can go and. And here are my call controls. Mute that. Parking is a pretty cool feature. Choose to park the call. Now zero and 99. I've got a, a park code of um, 10. The user on the other side is getting music on hold. If I come back and click on my speed dials, that's where we're finding um, the park calls. So I hit park call, plug in my 10 pick up and boom I've got the callback connects me so it's that simple um, some really cool features uh, uh, and functions back in the uh, consultative transfer actually when you uh, pull up somebody and I'll, I'll pull up Alan and I'll consult brings up an instant messaging field you can have a quick message with them to see if they're there and when you transfer the call for them, it'll actually tell them that the call is from Peter McCrindle. So uh, we'll just hang around. Nah, he's, he's not there. Um, so we will stop consulting and we'll resume the call. We'd be happy to do a proof of concept. There's a small fee for that, but it's fully uh, reimbursable if you proceed with us in the next 30 days from the proof of concept. Any questions, please reach out.